Ready? Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Obu Godwin Uche. And today I have with me Farouk. Okay guys, for some few weeks now, I've been exploring life from a different perspective. I've been looking at life from um, the Islamic point of view or the Islamic way of life. Yeah, and it's been fun. It's been eye-opening, it's been exploratory. I've been learning new things and I just love um, what I've been seeing. Okay, so today we'll be reacting to 10 biggest lies about Islam. So Farouk is um, a Muslim brother, so I'm a Christian, so I brought him here for us to look at this and share ideas and opinions. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into this. We have heavily been exploring the religion of Islam here in FTD Facts, and over time we have found a collection of misconceptions and myths and some straight up lies about Islam. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at 10 of the biggest lies about the religion of Islam. Welcome back to FTD Facts, guys. My name is Leroy Kenton. We got a very interesting episode coming right up up so make sure you watch from 10 all the way down to one because i don't want you to miss any of the information that i'm going to be sharing in this episode the first lie is muslims worship a moon god so some non-muslims mistakenly believe that allah is an arab god or a moon god or some type of idol however allah is in the arabic language a proper name for god and arabic speaking christians also use the name allah for god now one of the main factors of this belief is because one of the first uses of the crescent moon came from the second century BC where it represented the ancient Mesopotamian moon god Nana and now today the crescent moon is associated with Islam so many non-Muslims say well look you worship the moon god there's even a moon in the symbol of your religion next up at number nine most muslims are arabs okay so islam is often associated with arab people but did you know that arabs make up only 15 percent of all muslims the country with the largest muslim population is actually indonesia and large numbers of muslims are also found in asia africa europe as well as other parts of the world muslims are encouraged to learn arabic because they believe that the only language that you can really get the full extent of the Quran is in Arabic. Islam oppresses women. Practices like forced marriage, spousal abuse are actually things that contradict Islamic law and most of the bad treatment towards women actually come from people's own evil natures and their own cultures and their belief and it's completely separate from the faith of Islam itself. Muslims are extremists? Now this is a big one. Many Muslim leaders and scholars frequently speak out against all forms of extremism and they offer different explanations and interpretations of Muslim teachings that have been twisted by others to promote extremism. Muslims believe the entire Quran taken as a complete text gives a message of hope as well as peace and faith and good virtues and any form of extremism cannot be justified under proper interpretation of the Islamic faith. Oh boy! Islam is intolerant of other faiths. Muslims are constantly reminded that they are not the only ones who worship God. Specifically, Jews and Christians are called the people of the book in the Quran, meaning that those are people who also received previous revelations from God and are also can be seen as true worshipers of God. Also in Surah 2 verses 256 in the Quran, it says, there is no compulsion in religion. And this is interpreted to mean that you cannot force any want to become a Muslim, you still got to respect other people's beliefs. Halfway in at number five, jihad means holy war. So jihad in Arabic does not mean holy war. It actually means to strive or to struggle or to persevere. And jihad can be something that's done personally or can also involve a community. So in effect, jihad really means to become closer to God. And this type of struggle, jihad, is to ensure that a peaceful and equitable community still continues to exist. Of course, self-defense is acceptable to protect yourself and your community from any sort of like dangers. However, any form of offensive aggression is prohibited in Islam. All right, number four. Okay, so, so far, I think um, we're talking about oppression of women, yeah? Mm -hmm. Especially from where we come from, Nigeria. Yeah. You see most people, like me, I'm saying growing up, we see the um, teachers of Islam, they, what they call ilike. Yes. Yeah. You know, you see most of those people who teach their, you see their wives or their daughters wearing this long. They're always fully clothed. Yes, fully yes. clothed. And we're like, oh, why are they covering their face? And yeah. like, uh, we we'll tag them with different kind of names, you know? Yeah. You see, the thing is that growing up, speaking about this whole um, assumptions, growing up, these were things that I also believed growing up. 
and i and i also see some other muslims still believing this in the 21st century which is actually wrong so growing up i was able to interact with a lot of islamic scholars and see that some of these things that we thought were wrong were not actually were not actually what we thought they were you understand so I like the fact that this guy now is coming up to try and clear the air and hopefully i hope you guys also learn from it as well okay in terms of also when you talk about extremism you see in nigeria we're suffering from um the Boko Haram, yeah and the ice swap and the rest of them you know most nigerians or most of us now we tag these people as that's how all muslims uh, are yes. you know like oh you're fighting jihad and the rest of that but for the past few weeks going through islamic contents and videos and some um, articles or opinions of people posting on my comment section yeah. i've come to understand actually the quran prohibits those kind of thing killing exactly. of someone you know for the sake of allah and the rest of that you know that is not what the quran um preaches yes. Do, yes you know yeah. so and I want to know a few white people, even you see some few weeks back um, or a month or months ago, so a, a, a Christian was killed in the northern part of Nigeria for blasphemy against the prophet. Yes. Yeah. Well, even the Quran didn't teach that. But I feel people are not reading. That's the thing. They don't read, they just take things from their imam or most of the time. You see, the thing is that people even take matters into their own hands. Yeah. And most of the people who actually practice this thing, they don't even fully understand Stand. the concept of Islam. Yeah. And it's actually bringing a bad image to the other people. You understand? Yeah. So if something happens now, you, are, you automatically assume that, oh, all Muslims are this way, which is actually quite wrong. So, yeah. All right, so let's continue. Or Islamic prayer doesn't really have any meaning. Most people now know that Muslims are to pray five times a day. And now in Islam, there are several benefits to prayer. The daily prayers help keep Muslims' minds on God, and it helps Muslims to remember the Quran because they recite passages of the Quran, as well as it's a time to go before God to express thanks, to ask for forgiveness, to look for guidance in your life. So there's a whole lot of meaning for Muslims when it comes to prayer. All right, number three, Jesus is completely irrelevant in Islam. That's actually not true. Jesus, however, is revered as a prophet and the Messiah in Islam. The Islamic faith believes that Jesus will return as a Messiah and defeat the Antichrist. This view is also very similar to the Christian view. The only difference is that Muslims don't view Jesus as the son of God. He's just seen as a prophet when you compare it to the Christian faith. All right, guys, we got two more left. So the crescent moon is a universal symbol of Islam. It's actually, yeah, it's not. Okay, so the early Muslim community did not really have any sort of symbols or anything. Now the crescent moon, as well as the star symbol, they actually predate Islam by several thousands of years. And as a matter of fact, they weren't affiliated with Islam at all until the Ottoman Empire placed it on their flag. And over time, the symbol became more associated with Islam, but it's not actually their official symbol. That just doesn't exist. And the number one biggest lie, myth, misconception, about Islam is that Muhammad is the founder of Islam and Muslims worship him. Muslims believe that Muhammad was God's final prophet and communicated God's final revelation to humanity. Muslims consider Adam, the first man created, to actually be the first Muslim because he was, of course, surrendered to the will of God, and that's what the term Muslim means, one who surrenders to the will of God. Muhammad is held in great esteem, but he's not to be worshipped because worship is only meant to be directed towards God, and it's completely forbidden to worship anyone or anything else. Muslims may, however, celebrate Muhammad's birthday, similar to the way that Americans celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you in this episode. This was your brief look at 10 misconceptions, myths, and lies about Islam. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below about anything that that I mentioned in this episode and also what other lies do you know about it'll be interesting to see what you guys comment below and don't wow okay ah. so there's one thing also he cleared about right yeah. now is that when I was growing up to I used to believe um Muhammad founded Islam basically yeah I used to think um when you talk about Islam talking about Muhammad yeah. that the um, Muslims worship that the Muslim worship Muhammad, you know, because it's always mentioned like most people, yeah. oh, peace be unto him, Prophet Muhammad, peace yeah. be unto him and the rest of that. So I always think uh, it's about Muhammad, like Islam is about Muhammad. And I also thought 
the the moon you know when you go to, you yeah. see most mosques you know, that one as for that one i also believe because most mm-hmm. mosques you, you go to a mosque you see at the top of like their dome yeah you see like something like a crescent and then probably a star if some mosques want to go to the extreme you see a star you see that and in my yeah. head i'm like you know is this just like a symbol or something but i never really dug deep into it to know like the actual meaning yeah so thankfully you have already clarified that and i hope everyone in the comment section we are also able to take one or two things from what he has said yeah it's it's amazing like some things we don't know we just you know growing up a lot of things that shape us growing up a lot of background people we actually share with you know i more associate with christians and people from my tribe growing up you know exactly. so i didn't really know most of this i had a muslim friends especially when i go to school we actually see it we talk and rest but i didn't really dig deep i had this the idea ideas about them you know so i've heard it from home i've heard it from people i stay around with you know muslims my uncle used to bring up a lot of stories about muslims and i agree i'm gonna get scared about how come these people are like this you know but this past few weeks has really changed me it made me a better person made me understand like empathize more um with uh the concept the, yeah with the muslims you know and i now understand what it's talking about i now know some of the prophets you know in the bible is also in the quran you know Jesus, I didn't know Jesus was also accepted in Islam. Yeah, you see, that is one of the things that have, that is not that people don't fully understand. That most of the messages related in the Quran, or most of the people you know in the Bible, are also in the Quran. So it's just like in Taiwan, you just mine know or few tweaks so yeah. here and there. All right, guys, thank you for sticking with us. If you have any other um, opinions or you have anything to say about this please kindly drop that in the comment section and we'll definitely um look at it and if you have any other videos you want us to react to kindly drop that in the comment section or if you have any suggestions to make this channel better please drop that in the comment section so it will come away next time